guys. So out here where I am, it wasn't too bad as you guys see around. It really happened out in Cebu and it's tragic what happened. I, I didn't take a look at the reports yet. I just got up and got out. You know, I just worked last night. But last night when I was working, it was pretty quiet. We had the doors closed. So it was very windy though yesterday. But still, I know a lot of families are down and out right now. And I just want to send out my, my prayers to the, to, to the people that are struggling, that are out, that are in need. Also, I'm going to do whatever I can to help families out there. I'm actually looking to go there myself soon and to actually help families and help a family get back in the home, you know, or even fix up their home. I'm looking to do that in the future. So, guys, it's just a sad situation. You know, these things happen in the Philippines. It's typhoons, earthquakes. It's like a mixture of Florida and California all in one. That's the Philippines. That's the dangers, but... It's just a sad situation, you know, it's tragic that this is happening. And uh, this has even happened 15 years ago, you know, when there was a big typhoon here and it's happened again. They, they come, they come every now and then. And, uh, you know, be prepared for that when you come here because, you know, it could be a situation to where you have everything here and then you have a no home tomorrow. So, you know, be prepared for it and also, if you can help someone, get out there and help someone. People need the help right now. And I'm definitely looking to see who I can reach out to because it's needed. And I feel as a person, you know, that has something, why not give someone else something? So yeah, guys, definitely, I want you guys to look at it like that as well, to extend, extend an arm, extend your hands out to help someone that needs it because people do need it right now. And I love Filipinos, but the Filipino people a lot of times don't have a lot of money and they don't have savings. Like Filipinos don't really prepare for situations like this, you know? Some do, but not a lot. You know, nowadays, the younger generation Filipinos are starting to prepare, like say they're OFWs, but most Filipinos don't. And they're just not ready for these uh, catastrophes that happen every now and then in the Philippines. And in the Philippines, you have to have an emergency fund. It's needed out here. I feel like one should have at least a, a, a million peso emergency fund actually. But it's hard because a lot of Filipinos don't have income that can bring in a million pesos and sometimes 10 years. So it's hard out here. But yeah, guys, lift your prayers up to the Philippines and uh, look to see what you can do to help someone else. Want to help someone? Help someone less fortunate. Thank you for watching. Out here, it was level two out here, wasn't as uh, crazy as other places. But uh, I'm thinking I know Kay doesn't want to, but we need to get out to uh, Pasapu area soon, you know, maybe stay on the outskirts. What do you think, Kay? Huh? Yeah, I'm thinking we go soon after the guy finishes with the home build. Um, me and Kay gonna head that way. Go out there and see how things are. It's about time. They actually have a boat, guys. They have a boat for them to go. They wanna make a trip out of it. That's uh, probably like a 20 hour ride in a boat. But uh, the thing is the boat, you can um, stay in and you can, you can get action. Uh, you can actually get a, like a hotel over there. It's like 2,000 or 2,500, something like that. But it's pretty cool. I think I want to get that. I want to get that and I want to go out and just move. Make, make a trip out of it. As long as I, I'm able to get in a room with good internet. Shabu has great internet. So, um, you know, looking forward to that. And I'll make a trip out of it. You guys will see it. I'll do it on the go boat. And, you know, just have some fun. Have some fun, but also go out there and, and, and see what's happening and lend a helping hand. But, uh, hey yeah, guys, let's go. We're going to go over here. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's it. This is just me. See up here they're having a Christmas party. Oh yeah. Copyright Central. Oh that's not that's not this is the guard booth. They blast the music up here, the guards. But uh Look 
Me and Kate were thinking of maybe having a business here, but maybe not. The weather is just a little. Feels good to know if it's coming this way. You go. Oh, it's open now. No, it's not open, but I can just walk around. You go. Over here. You're not gonna necessarily walk over here. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like walking around here. You can come here. It's like we can't come here or something. So they gotta close this. Oh, so yeah. This unit right here is probably gonna be like 3.1 million. And, uh, Oh, they're playing basketball over Oh, it's on. It's on, guys. I got my LeBron, LeBron James sneakers. I'm about to get out here and uh, give these guys a ball. I gotta get my practice up. See, the pool, they're about to open that soon, too. Oh, yeah, it's getting clean compared to last time. I gotta hear you, frog. Get out of the pool. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna bust these guys with some balls soon. Room up over there, that's too. the church. Huh? That's the church over there. That's the church? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, guys, definitely be a playing ball. See, now they got the rims back up. Me and Kay gonna be here. A lot. Running up and down the court. Back and forth. Dribbling the ball. Shooting. Do we bring the ball with us, guys? It's already no air. Uh, it's fine. We got pumped. It's still, it's raining. It's not really raining, but you guys see the clouds. Look at the clouds up there. So the storm hasn't really passed. I don't think the storm really hit here yet. I don't know. I, have to, I haven't looked at the uh, the, the weather radar to see where, where the storm is going and the flow of it, which I'm going to do that in a little while. But that's just it here, man. It's, it's crazy. These unfortunate things happen. And that's just the part of the world we live, we live in. You know, you're living on the islands like this, you know, and you know, Philippines has so many islands. These things are gonna happen. But uh, guys, I still think it's a great choice you guys wanna make because as long as you're prepared, as long as you're prepared, as long as you have that, and that's one of the things you need to prepare for, for your budget. You need to have money saved. You definitely need to save. You don't wanna get out here and come to the Philippines with making 1300 a month and then you know your all your bills are 1200 a month you're cutting it too close you definitely want to have money to save and what's happening right now guys is definitely a, a, a rude awakening for some of you guys not for me but for some of you guys that think oh, okay you know I get this on my disability I get 1200 I'm just going to go to the Philippines I don't think you would want to do that but this is a perfect example of that you know, say if you lost your home or your, the front of your house blew off or something like that. You know, you want to be able to have enough money to jump back on your feet. So, guys, definitely need to prepare for that. All I have to say is, again, let's just wish these people good luck. And also keep keep the people that are not as fortunate as you may be or even myself in prayers. And, guys, extend a helping hand. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. See you next video. Peace.